Hi, I'm Ryan, and then I'll be continuing the Blender course. And then today I'll show you how to make a symbol room, uh, furnish it, texture it, and then render it. So open Blender, go to General, make a new file. So Blender has free add-ons that you can use for free because these add-ons are specifically for architectures. So when you model an interior shot, this will come in really handy. So in order to turn it on, you go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons. And right here, type on Note Wrangler. Click on the checkbox to turn it on. Second, RG Mesh. Same thing, and click on the box, turn it on. Third, RG Pack. With those three turned on, here's how you model a simple room. So Shift A, Mesh, go to RG Mesh, and then Room. And then this is your first wall right here. And if you click N to bring up this Nelly menu, so you go to create. And then right here, you have all your add ons. So we have Archie, Archie Mesh, and then here's our room. Here's our room settings right here. And then I want three walls. So one, two, three. And then I want the room to be five by five by five. And then I go type length. 5, length 5, same thing. So this is what happened. So it's, it's not going to the direction you want to. So in order to correct that, you just move this back to a negative value. So wall, wall 3, you just press negative 5. And that would bring the room back to normal. And then we're missing a wall, but you don't have to do, you don't have to add a fourth wall because it had a feature to add to close the wall. So close the wall, now that, uh, and then it will automatically close the opening wall for you. So it's really nice. And then you click floor, it will add a floor to you. And then we click floor, your room settings disappear in order to uh, reopen that again. Just press tap enter, to enter edit mode and then tap again to uh, go back. And then you click on it again, the room setting appear again. And then I want the ceiling to be 2.7, so it's at the uh, the normal ceiling height. And then I would want to have the wall to have like some thickness, because you don't want it to be the wall to be like a plane. You want to have some thickness in the wall, or else it's gonna have some trouble later on when you render it. So I'm gonna put around 0.1, which is 10 centimeters. So that's around a normal value. So if it's inside, then you can press inverse to make the uh, the thickness go outside. So that's what I want. But then you can see right here, our baseboard is stuck in the inside. And then and one way you can fix it is just to increase the uh, the baseboard thickness right here. So I'll move it back to negative is 0 0.015. And then we'll bring it back our baseboard right here. And then you can turn on and off the baseboard here by checking this box. So on, off. And then I got the the baseboard thickness down. Height should be good. And then I want to add a ceiling. So click that, automatically ceiling. Nice. So now I would want to add a door or a window. So same thing again, shift A, add stuff, go to mesh, scroll down here, go mesh, archi mesh, and then hit door and then in blender it has a lot of difference part so for, for example this door there is an outside part uh the inner part and then the door handle so three individual part the way blender grouped this is that they group three those individual part into one empty so an empty is just basically something you can pair in stuff to and then use that to move it around so this is an empty so it literally just three line so all of, all of these three individual part is parent to this one empty right here. So if I grab this door handle and then move it by itself, it will move by itself. But if I grab the whole thing by the empty right here and then I press G to move, it will move the whole door. So when you move stuff in Blender and it's already grouped, you want to move by the empty right here. And you can see it's door group right here. It's there is three. Uh, there's the baseboard hole, the frame. So there are three part. There are three part that 
appearance to this empty right here, which is called door group. So always want to move by the empty itself. So grab the door by the empty, GX to move it with the X axis, and then GY to bring it up a little bit. Sweet, we have a door. Let's add a window. So Shift A, Mesh, Argy Mesh, Rail Window. And then I want to grab this. Also grab this by the empty itself. So G, X, G, Z to move it up, and then G, Y to move it in and out. You can see the windows and the door is resting on the wall itself instead of making an actual hole. So right now, just focus on putting all the stuff that you want first, and then I'll show you how to do that later. Same thing, grab that by the empty. G, X to move it sideways, a little bit up, so G, Z. Okay, now we have a room. You can go inside the room by just scrolling and zooming into the room itself. Sweet. So now you can see our door right here, and then our window is right here. And then that's a pretty good setup. So now you know how to model an actual room. I'll show you how to create the hole for the for the for the door and the window itself. So it's not resting on the walls instead of making contact and the hole on the wall. So right now you click on the walls, you can go inside, take a look a little bit better. You can see these wireframe. You see these right here. So these are the bounding box. So whenever you add something, whenever you add a component into Blender, there's always going to be a bounding box for Boolean. So when you use these, these will, these box will determine where is the hole will be. Right here is the bounding box for the uh, the wall. So whenever I hit Boolean, it will Boolean to this bounding box. So if I go inside, choose on the room. And then if I have my Nelly menus on, and for Nelly, then if you go to Archimesh, and you have room tools right here. And you press auto holes, it will auto make, auto make a boolean for you. So right now you can see it will use these box to make the boolean. So, so if I move these box only, you can see where the hole is. So right now, you see our door is a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, upset. Then you just grab the empty of the door itself, G, and then Y to move it in a little bit. Sweet. So now we have a window, a door, and let's move this window in a little bit too. So right now it's making full contact. Good. And then if you want to have the door open, you can click on the door itself because the uh, the handle is is parent to the door. And if you click on it in, in the part of the door, press R, Z to rotate on the Z axis, you can open the door in and out. Let's just open it, it's just a tiny bit. Let's open that, let's go inside and take a look. Okay, that looks pretty good. So this is how you model a basic room in Blender. And in the next part, I'll show you where to get 3D model to furnish the room, texture and then render.